Yesterday, upliftingly, we covered off the great farce known as Tesla Battery Day 2020. Today, the truth about Tesla selling its cars at a loss. <laughs> I'm John Cadogan from autoexpert.com.au and I get new cars cheap for buyers here in Australia. Website for that, obviously, or you can click the card on screen now. Yesterday, we covered off Battery Day, or Non-Battery Day, as it should more correctly have been known, perhaps. Tomorrow, using basic facts, I will eviscerate the Tesla fanboy claim of technical superiority. And the day after that, I will explain why internal combustion is certain to underpin transportation for decades to come. And I will bundle these reports into a neat little playlist so you can foam at the mouth endlessly if that's what you really want. Today, Tesla cannot sell its cars profitably. Does not sell its cars profitably. Fanboys, such as this next dude, well, they really hate that. Most revealing statement, quote, I actually think Tesla sells their cars at a loss. Three laugh-till-I-cry emoji faces. I really wanted to watch this to peek at some of Tesla's potential issues, but I can't waste my time if there has been zero research done by this twat. Goodness me, this twat. I think he means me. <laughs> Tesla selling its cars at a loss is quite different to Tesla posting a loss on its accounts. This is a very grown-up concept, I know, but Bo here was not alone in misinterpreting what I actually said. They're selling the cars at a loss, dudes. Many fanboy dipshits in the comments made this basic interpretive error. I never said Tesla makes an overall financial loss. Tesla actually makes a somewhat microscopic profit, but it definitely sells the cars at a loss. Dudes, they're different things. You really should try to pay attention if you want to put up a proper fight over this. It would be more enjoyable for the both of us. What the fuck are you talking about? Tesla has literally made a profit for the past five quarters. That's part of why they were allowed into the S&P 500. Ah, yes. Tesla makes a profit, technically. Five quarters in a row now. I said they sold their cars at a loss, dude. Which they do. Back in July, Tesla hit the milestone of four quarters of consecutive profit, which allowed it to join the S&P 500. But Tesla cannot post a profit from the sales of its cars. If Tesla just made money selling cars, Tesla would be routinely posting a loss. Tesla is only profitable because it sells hundreds of millions of dollars of artificial regulatory clean air credits to other car makers. Tesla cars get sold at a loss. Tesla turns that around by selling totally artificial, bullshit green financial derivative instruments. June quarter of 2020, which is the fourth consecutive profit one, which allowed Tesla to join the S&P. Tesla made 428 million US dollars selling bullshit regulatory green credits. That's about four times the 104 million dollars in net profit they declared for that quarter. In other words, without selling these fake clean air credits to other car makers, they would have been roughly 300 million bucks in the red. And that's a typical recent result for them. These bullshit regulatory credits are the most high-performance financial product which Tesla sells. And they work like this. In California and at least 13 other US states, so roughly a quarter of the union, car makers which want to sell cars into those states must sell a certain number of notionally green vehicles like EVs and hybrids like that. Okay, or they face big fines. And if they sell more notionally zero emissions vehicles than their quota, they get these fake green credits. Okay, 
And the only way to sidestep the fines for failing to sell sufficient green vehicles is to buy bullshit zero emission vehicle credits from a car maker which is exceeding its quotas for zero emissions vehicles. And since Tesla only makes EVs, it's got these fake credits to burn. So it sells them to car makers which need them for less than the fines they would otherwise pay. Ker friggin' ching. That's the Tesla profit center, okay? And it is completely artificial. Selling these credits to other car makers is the only reason Tesla is profitable five quarters in a row, and demand for those credits is gonna increase in 2021 until major competition steps in. Without the revenue from the sale of these bullshit Enviro credits, Tesla remains wholly unprofitable. Ergo, Tesla cars get sold at a loss. This is a very basic financial concept. You underestimate a dude who lands rockets. Wait and see, 2021 is close. Next year, one million cars and competition is a healthy thing. So let competition come, I am waiting. There's no doubt about the competition. It's coming whether you're waiting or not, Romica. SpaceX, okay? Properly impressive operation. I don't typically criticize SpaceX but Elon Musk does not land any rockets. SpaceX lands the rockets. SpaceX's in-house rocket scientists are responsible for that. Elon Musk is not a rocket scientist. Full kudos and respect to SpaceX for its many achievements, right? Fair's fair. But anybody who thinks Electric Jesus sits behind some giant futuristic console and actually lands the Falcon Heavy, they're probably going to require stronger medication before a date with the outside world can even be penciled in. Claiming Musk is a bullshitter is off base. He does call it as he sees it or expects it to play out and is certainly incorrect sometimes, especially as been on timing. But the comments are neither intended to mislead nor are they baseless generally just overly optimistic. Disagree strongly with that, JT. Musk lied to investors about taking the company private, and this cost him $40 million personally in regulatory fines. Any other chairman of any other public board would have been fired for the same offence within minutes. He had to know the claims were false and not just optimistic, okay? This is a matter of fact. The US Securities Exchange Commission sued Elon Musk for fraud over this statement. He stepped down as chairman as a consequence. They even got his tweets censored, which is why they stopped being so entertaining a couple of years back. Mr. Musk appears to be promising batteries that do not yet exist. He's promising vertical integration into mining on a wholly unrealistic timeline using mining technology that apparently does not exist. He promised the semi, which is still not available. He promised the Cybertruck, which cannot be registered as initially revealed. The company has no meaningful proprietary technology. It's billions of dollars in debt, and it has billions in purchase obligations to Panasonic and others. It's standing with its toes over the edge of a friggin' cliff, and its P-E ratio can be seen from space. Like, look, dude, it's really easy for a charismatic billionaire to get a bunch of clever designers and engineers together and make a few really cool cars, and it is really easy to market them. However, it's properly hard to make hundreds of thousands of these cars profitably. If you're a proper car maker, that's the real skill. Tesla, and EJ in particular, is incredibly good at painting the rosiest possible picture of a future. A future which, in the moment, many of us, including me, might prefer, and which I think he actually believes will come to pass in the moment, but which at best, at least as it seems to me, trying to be infinitely charitable here, is only loosely grounded in reality, and sometimes, frankly, not at all. Anyway, that's it for today. Don't forget, just one more sleep until I eviscerate this bullshit Tesla claim that Teslas are technically superior. That'll be tomorrow.